Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're a little more wasted because we drink more of the glam brew. Glam brew. Yeah. Because we're witches. We are witches. You know, that. okay, that's going to take us into our next segment. Okay. What really pisses me off is when I hear about like Salem and the women mm. and how they like killed women because they thought they were witches. Yeah. Isn't that fucked up? Unbelievably fucked up. Like, just because somebody said, oh, she's a witch. Yeah. And then they burn him at the stake, and they're like, well, if you were a witch, she wouldn't burn. And then they burn anyway, and they're like, yeah. oh, whoops, my bad. What a huge, like, that would not happen nowadays. Like, I think women have gotten to the point where mm-hmm. we're like, we're not putting up with this shit. Yeah. Over it. Yeah. I mean, and a lot of it, I think, back in the day had to do with religion. It right? I, I think so. Anybody yeah. that didn't conform mm-hmm. and um, associate and believe everything that the local preacher guy was saying yeah. was a witch. Yeah. If she was, you know, sexy or had her own voice or yeah. did her own thing, she was a witch. Yeah. And men could just be like, she's a witch. I don't like her. And then they kill her. And like, what the fuck? Isn't that fucked up? It is. It's disturbing. And I think I that's why I struggle with organized religion because mm-hmm. there's so many parameters of what's like accepted and what's not accepted and I I can't I can't do it. I with know. It. And honestly, if you really believed what you were preaching, like God loves everyone no matter what, why would you be treating other people like that right. and judging them? Right. And burning people exactly it's, that's like sick and disturbing it is it, it I think what really bothers me most is like somebody I especially certain men when they get into power mm-hmm. they think they can t- control everything right. and it takes it to another level where it's not it's not religion and it's it, that's really not what you're preaching because right. if you really believed in that you wouldn't be as crazy as you are yeah absolutely I, I don't understand, like, some people just get all this power and they take advantage of it and mm-hmm. they're utter assholes. Um, because, I mean, do you believe in witchcraft? Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't, I can't say no because, again, I haven't experienced anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know that I believe people can put spells on you. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm sure there's something to it. I'm sure there's something to, you know, people's energy. I know we talked about that before, and they can do certain things. But mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I kind of, I, I don't, um, especially when I think about, like, voodoo in like New Orleans and Mm -hmm. there's some really good scary movies like there's one with Kate Hudson called The Skeleton Key oh I haven't seen it that one's really good um watch it (laughs) (laughs) um I think that maybe there is um some truth to it Mm -hmm. but I also believe that it's like how vulnerable you are as a person to believe it Mm -hmm. because I mean you know this like I mean you're you're super smart and you're in medicine. Like some people so like smart. I'm the smartest. <laughs> the, what is it called? The placebo effect where sure. if yeah. you give them something and you tell them it's, you know, that what they're better. taking, then they, they, because they're thinking it, it affects everything mm-hmm. in their life. So maybe if you believe in it, yeah. maybe it's true to you because you believe in it. But I don't think I would give the power to, some other force to say, yeah, I believe it. And no. Yeah, no. And I think what you said, just the power of your mind to be able to think a certain way, like, Mm -hmm. oh, you're cursed. And then you just believe that you're cursed. And so you feel like everything is bad luck. Everything is because of this. Mm -hmm. Now this is happening. Like you're giving that cause and effect when you're creating it yourself in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I really do believe that people, like if you speak it enough and you tell yourself enough that Mm -hmm. you can create it. Yeah. Um, that's the whole point. I am a millionaire. (laughs) I have all the money in the world. (laughs) I believe. I believe. Well, we're not going to sing R. Kelly. Fuck that. No, no. (laughs) He's done enough damage. Let's not give him any more. He would be the the (laughs) fucked up guy burning the women at the stake. I mean, come on. But how, can you believe how many women probably died over that shit? Oh, I know. Yeah. It, It really pisses me off when I think about it. Yeah. 
and that it was okay and it was mm-hmm. acceptable and normal. Mm-hmm. Like when you think back at what they did. If somebody did that to me, one, probably I would have been burned at the stake at, during those times if I lived. I probably was. Maybe that's why I'm back. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're back to burn some bitches. I believe me, if that happened to me, I would come back and haunt your ass. Yeah. And then I'd be I would the, find you. Yeah. Yeah. I'd sit on you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I it's 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 unreal. It just what was the norm back mm-hmm. then, and just what you could do to women and how you can make them feel. It's just it's sad that they don't have a voice. Mm-hmm. And yeah, when I mean, I I just don't understand how I got to that point because I feel like women are so amazing and really we create life. Mm-hmm. Like if there's one thing, I honestly am really happy that I'm a, I'm a woman. Mm-hmm. Like I can't imagine being a man. Um, no, I wouldn't want to carry all that. All the balls. All the balls. <laughs> I don't know how guys do it. I mean, I would just be constantly sitting on them. Adjusting. Oh, I thought you were going to say constantly jacking off. <laughs> no. I just don't know how they're not in the way all the time. I mean, maybe they are. I'm not a man. Bottom line, I don't want a dick. You know, as they say, <laughs> guys, I think it kind of they kind of hang more as they get older. Yeah, I'm sure. Saggy. There's no support. We should design something that gives them support. It's kind of like our boobs. You know how they're designed to yeah. support a testicle bra. <laughs> <laughs> if you would wear a testicle bra, <laughs> give us a call. <laughs> Isn't that what tidy whities are for, though? They just kind of scoop them up there oh i've seen those underwear have you seen that the ball no. hammock they've already made it you missed oh, out really? yeah mm-hmm. damn there's underwear and it's called the ball hammock i believe that's how all my designs come about yeah. just random thoughts yeah <laughs> incorporate that into one of your next aprons oh shit <laughs> No, but I mean, if you think about it, like, honestly, I feel really lucky to be a woman. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, I feel like women are so amazing. The fact that we give birth, mm-hmm. um, we keep that the we're species moms. alive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We do a lot. We hold a lot of, I feel like, the power. So, how did it turn we to. Lost it. We're yeah. taking that shit back. Yeah. It's time to. It's like Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. Right? Let's go June on their asses. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We should be June for Halloween. (gasps) We should be. We could do it. We could. Like the Handmaid June Mm -hmm. or like I'm murdering you June. Let's do the murder. You could be before and after. Okay. I'll be the, with the red hood and everything. Okay. Be the murderer. I can do it. Mm -hmm. I can kill somebody. (laughs) (laughs) But, I really couldn't. But, I mean, there's no wonder if there is any unsettled souls out there. I mean, mm-hmm. depending on what happened in, on, in their life, and I could see it. I believe in ghosts. Yeah. The energy could just be too intense, mm-hmm. too much anger. And... and, I mean, when you think about it, too, especially so much talk about possessions, mm-hmm. like, there has to be some some truth to it. Uh, yeah. There's so many stories and there's so many like movies based off of that. And you just hear so many things, but I think because you don't, I mean, I'm sure there's like this fear and shame. If that's happened to somebody, you're not going to go out and tell everybody about it, but there's gotta be something to it. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing a documentary on the exorcist. They were talking about behind the scenes of the movie. Yeah. And a lot of crazy shit happened on that movie. Oh, I Unexplainable things. Really? Yeah. That's disturbing. That movie is pretty scary. Oh. It still scares me. It does still scare me. But I will say after um, (laughs) Scary Movie and Marlon Wayans and the Wayans (laughs) Brothers, after they did their movies, yeah, it kind of... It toned it down a little, yeah. yeah. It made it seem a little silly. They did such a good job in those movies, though. They really though. did, yeah. I mean, can you imagine being that funny? <sighs> I, I live it every day. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's a burden it, I carry. It's truly a gift. Like, it is. The fact that they can make so many people laugh and just the the ideas that come out of those guys yeah. is just so fucking funny. It would be just fun to be around that all the yeah. time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It would be amazing. It's a gift. It is a gift. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So have you ever been to a haunted house? I have been to a few as a kid. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the things I did, I was really young, like scary Wait, movies. Wait, I just have to pause and say, can you tell who the alcoholic is <laughs> in this friendship? Oh my gosh, are you done? <gasps> oh, holy crap, all right. Chug, chug, chug. I'm a sipper. I sip and I'm trying to get a little caramel with each. I'm enjoying it. Mm, must be all those rim jobs. <laughs> so many rim jobs. Can't, I've lost count. <laughs> um, yes, I've been to haunted house. And I think I did things too young. Like, mm -hmm. we always tried to scare each other at our house. Like, we would always do stupid shit to each other. My uncle used to put on, like demon masks and mm -hmm. scare us but like we were really fucking young uh, like I've been traumatized family I've been traumatized <laughs> I also had that experience yeah we did some fucked up shit one time my brother oh, my poor brother um he lived in the upstairs and it was kind of like attic converted into a bedroom and all yeah. the walls were dark purple so just the whole place was kind of creepy. Moody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dark. And mm -hmm. um, so my mom and I, um, we put his TV on to like a static station. Your mom was oh, involved? My mom was the worst. I love your mom. Oh my, she is amazing. But man, she loved to scare people. Um, and so we put his My Buddy doll on his bed with the remote in the hand. And, you know, we let my brother have that experience. <laughs> and I believe she sent him his My Buddy doll back in the mail like it's we're just fucked up people that's a good though yeah I like to scare I, I don't mind being scared but it, it like really affects me so you like to scare people but you don't like to get it back yeah I like to be the scarer not the scary Ooh, good yeah. to know yeah <laughs> <laughs> you've definitely gotten me a few times now be prepared, my friend. I, I I will probably wet myself and cry. I'm just <laughs> warning you now. My husband scared me one time so bad in our apartment that I, I was bawling. Really? But I was like, I deserve it. I'm so terrible. Because <laughs> I scare him all the time and pissed him off. And he's like, I'm going to get you. And he, he How did he me. scare you? Um, it was in our apartment. And uh, I had, he asked me to go check the door and make sure it was locked. And you know, all the lights are off. Mm -hmm. And then he tucked himself behind the kitchen area. All the lights were off and I was already kind of like, oh, hurry up. No, you know, like someone's chasing you already and you're trying to get out of the dark area and he jumped out and whew, uh, I'm so scared. Oh my bad. gosh. He got me good. That's good. Yeah. Did you shit yourself? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> trying to block it out of my memory. <laughs> Do you like haunted houses? I love haunted houses. Do you? I will. And I. I mean, if you if you know me and you've been around me, you know I could seriously do like horror screams in movies with my screams. <laughs> I scream so fucking loud, it's gonna blow your eardrums out. And so every time we go to haunted house, <laughs> I feel mad for the people behind us because I scream so loud. But you like it? I do. You do it to yourself. I do. I even, I even like prep myself. I get good yeah. solid breaths to like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I could get myself to get into a haunted house anymore. I mean, I want to do it. Ooh, we should do it. We should. Oh, I'll wear depends. <laughs> I just don't know how oh, I get scared so easily. I'll be screaming. Actually, I know somebody that puts on a haunted house, so we will yeah. have to. We would have. We will, we're going to have to send him a message, and we can get him for free because I get him for free all the time at his haunted oh. houses, and they're the best. Just do a little bit of this. <laughs> no, <laughs> you could be can like my granddad. <laughs> No, it's uh, okay, okay. so. But seriously, he he puts on the best haunted houses, yeah. and he'll let us in for free. Okay, so we got to do this. I we'll talk that. about it on our next segment too. I can mentally prep. You can do it. You'll have me. Okay. I'll be screaming so loud you won't even remember it. Okay. Are you okay if I claw some of your skin off? I I'll wear layers. Okay. <laughs> I'll cut my nails. <laughs> I'll make sure to bring you some depends. Okay, thank you. Well, oh my god. I don't gosh. want to ruin my clothes. It'll be it'll be fine. You have to experience it, the full effect. Can you bring like one of those AED machines for me to like clear? Because I'll be on the ground. 
<laughs> no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you take a few shots. Okay. Get you all loosened up, and okay. then we're going to go in there and just... You're take advantage of me? <laughs> <laughs> Start karate chopping everything. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> It'll be fun. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. All right. We're going to do it. I may or may not be alive to tell the story. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll, okay. you, you're going to fall in love with haunted houses. Okay. I'll trust you. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.